नमस्ते स्टूडेंट जर वी हैव अनदर प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू सर्कल हायर ऑर्डर थिंकिंग स्किल क्वेश्चन द डायगोनल ए सी एंड बी डी ऑफ ए साइकिल कॉर्डिलेटर ए बी सी डी इंटरसेक्ट एट राइट एंगल एट ई अ लाइन पासिस थ्रू ई एंड पपनिकुलर टू ए बी मीट सी डी एट एफ प्रूव दैट एफ इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ सी डी That means we need to show that df equals to cf. Once we show this one, then we can easily say that f is the midpoint of this one. <clears throat> so our target, this equals to this, and this equals to this. Then you can see that once we get this one, this one, our target, this one equals to this, and this one equals to this, not this one. this will be common to both so and we can say that one equal so here this is possible only when if you we'll enter into the triangle and if you say that this part equals to this angle equals to this angle then we can say that this side are equal and if we we'll get this angle equals to this we can say that yes these two are equal so what we'll going to do we'll give the name 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and here you give name seven do we need this one you can take or your wish no problem okay we'll take here no problem so we have what we have we have angle a e b equals to 90 degree that means we can write angle 1 plus angle 2 equals to 90 degree now next one in triangle If we'll enter here, if we'll give a name, anything uh, like uh, M, we'll give so E M B in triangle E M B. You can see here, there's a ninety degree here. That means angle two plus angle five will be what ninety degree by by angle sum property. Angle sum. property of triangle because this is your 90 and must this two sums must be 90 otherwise will not get 180 degree okay so this is your number 1 and this is your number 2 from 1 and 2 we get 90 90 that means we can write one angle and 2 equals to angle 2 plus angle 5 so angle 2 angle to cancel we can see here angle 1 equals to angle Five. See, we are getting angle one equals to angle five, and angle one is equals to angle four. Angle four, we can write here. Angle four equals to angle one. Vertically opposite angle. Since this one, this imply what angle four equals to angle five. Okay, we have this one, and we know, and and what. Angle five equals to angle six. Angle five equals to angle six. Okay, so okay, this imply what angle one equals to angle five. We can mention this imply angle four equals to angle five. Okay, and angle five equals to angle six. Why? Angle in the same segment. Angles in the same segment. See, if we we'll take this one as your segment. So you can see here angle five and here angle five. If we we'll take like this, see segment here, you are getting here. These two angles are equal. Similarly here five angles see both are equal. So from here you can see angle four must be equal to this imply angle four must be equal to angle six. Similarly, similarly okay 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 wait later. This imply angle four equals to angle six. That means we can say that Angle four opposite was CF. That means we can write here CF, and angle six opposite was EF. We can write EF. Why? Angles opposite to uh, sides opposite to equal angles are equal. Sides opposite to equal angles are equal. Similarly, similarly now LLY. Similarly, we can say that this EF equals to CF. We can say that EF equals to DF. Similarly, DF equals to EF. So 
therefore df equals to cf this imply f is the midpoint of cd proved thank you